The hexagon trim tool by Creative Grids is an eight and a half inch hexagon, but you can also cut two inch finish, four inch finish, and six inch finish hexagons out of the same tool. The other way that you can use this tool is as a trim tool to make hexagon shaped log cabin type blocks. Now this has the two, two inch center which was cut two and a half inches with the ruler. Here is a four and a half inch center and all I did on that was cut the four and a half inch hexagon out and then added two rounds instead of three. Or I can cut a six inch out and in this case I added one row of rounds and so it's almost adding a border treatment to it. So you can see this is very easy to do if I do it all in one color. Now if I want to do it as a braid, I can take that same six inch block and this time I'm going to start by sewing a partial seam. So I put the blue fabric on top of the hexagon in the center and I sewed a partial seam and stopped about right here. And what that did was give me a solid line to sew here, but I could flip this back to finish sewing this underneath to complete it. So I, this was round one, then I sewed round two, and the instructions say you can trim that off. I did not because I wanted you to see how uh, that this worked. So I sewed my strip on here, but I laid it flat with this the whole way and then just continued it over. See now, because I sewed that partial seam and this was sewn clear to the top, I can sew a complete seam as I'm adding two, three, four, five, and then when I go to add six, this has not been sewn yet. See, I'm gonna just pull this back so you can see. And so I can flip this out of the way, sew six the entire way into place, press that out, and then I'll fold this over and finish sewing that partial seam. So when I flip it back, I have a perfect six inch hexagon with a braid border around the outside. Hi, I'm Jean Ann Wright and I am the designer of the Creative Grids Hexagon Non-Slip Trim Tool. And this tool makes hexagon blocks perfect every time. Plus, we've added holes where all the seam intersections are so that you can sew your hexagons together perfectly every time. The tool works like my other trim tools in that we always work from a center shape. And in this case, it's a hexagon instead of a square. The tool itself cuts two, four, six, and eight inch hexagons. So you can make a quilt with any size hexagon you like. To cut the two inch hexagons, I cut this strip two and a half inches wide, and then I put my tool down at one end and trimmed it at the angle for the hexagon. Then I turned the tool around, lined up the markings on the tool, and trimmed again to make the angle, and now I have a perfect hexagon. I was able to stack up six strips two and a half inches wide and cut six hexagons at a time. The four inch hexagon is cut in the same way, except that you cut a four and a half inch strip to make your four and a half inch hexagons, which are cut exactly like you cut the two inch hexagons. And then the six inch hexagons, again, are cut in the same manner. You use a six and a half inch strip and you cut a perfect six and a half inch hexagon every time. And the ruler is marked with the little holes for each of these size hexagons so that if you want to make a quilt with hexagons only, you can put your quilt together with ease. And then the nice thing about the largest hexagon, the eight inch, is that it can be cut from a 10 inch layer cake square. And we designed the tool purposefully to use those 10 inch layer cake squares. So here's an eight and a half inch hexagon. Now the other thing that the tool does is it makes a strip pieced hexagon block like the antique, what they called pineapple hexagons. So we're going to do exactly as we do with my other trim tools and that you're going to sew a light strip to three of the six sides of the hexagon, every other side. And then you're going to sew a dark strip to the remaining three sides. And this is what you'll get. And on the back, there will be an overlap like this. And you're just gonna trim that off with a pair of sharp scissors. Once that's done, you take your hexagon trim tool and it has these little hexagons that march up the center 
and you're going to center the next hexagon over the center of your hexagon in the middle, and you're gonna trim two sides at a time until you've trimmed all six sides. So it'll take three turns to get this entirely trimmed. Once that's trimmed, you're going to have this perfect little center unit. Now you're gonna add another set of strips to the hexagon, first light and then dark. And you'll notice that these strips are wider than the others because I was just using scraps I had and I didn't have to recut them in order to make my next round of strips on my tool. So it's also very time saving. So now you're going to move up to the next hexagon marked on the trim tool. Once again, you're gonna trim two sides at a time, trimming all six sides, and you're going to end up with this perfect unit. Once that one is done, you're gonna add another row of light on three sides, and then your darks, and you're gonna put your hexagon trim tool on, moving up to the final hexagon, and trimming it two sides at a time, you're gonna have a perfect eight and a half inch hexagon every single time. Now when you've got that finished, in order to sew your hexagons together, you're simply going to flip it over, you're going to put your hexagon trim tool on your trimmed hexagon, you're gonna take a pencil and mark each one of these little holes that are your seam intersections. Now putting your hexagon quilt together is as simple as plain dot to dot. You're just going to sew the hexagons together from one dot to the next, not out to the edge of the fabric, just from dot to dot, and you're going to use your stitch holding mechanism on your machine to hold that stitch so it won't rip. So when they're all sewed together, you just sew them dot to dot. Now, of course, people, I've heard people say they don't like the Y seams, but this is just a gentle Y seam and it's easily accomplished. In order to square off the top of your hexagon, you're going to cut these, which are marked on the ruler, the skinny, what I call the skinny triangles, and it's marked right here so you can cut them off to finish the top of your thing. Once again, you're going to mark your dots and you're going to sew them dot to dot, and you just sew one dot to one dot, you stop, cut your thread, and you turn it up and sew the other dot in place. So the skinny triangles finish off the top and bottom of your quilt, and then you have to cut half hexagons, which are also marked on the ruler, so one tool makes your entire quilt, and you do the same thing. You mark your seam intersections, and you make the gentle Y seams, which are easily accomplished, even for a beginning quilter. The quilts behind me, this one is made with eight inch hexagons, and it has, you can see the half hexagons to square off the sides and the skinny triangles to square off the tops and bottoms. And the instructions for cutting all of them are included in the instructions for the ruler so that you can refer to them. And all of my instructions have, are illustrated throughout. And this uh, hexagon quilt that I made only has six hexagons. It starts with four inch center hexagons and only two rounds of color. And I did what they call fussy cutting to get my co coffee cups to show. And you could use coffee cups, puppies, kitties, baby objects, whatever, vegetables to make it a table runner. So it's also a fun tool to use for fussy cutting. Now, like all the other CL, uh, Creative Grids rulers, like all Creative Grids rulers, there are CLP or cut loose patterns to go with each ruler. And many designers, as well as myself, are designing quilts to go with this hexagon ruler. And we have an array of patterns already together, and more patterns are coming. So if you go to your quilt shop, and they have the ruler, but not the patterns, so you don't know what you want to make, just tell your shop owner she can order the patterns, and you can take the ruler and a pattern project home and start sewing that very afternoon. <laughs>